place at the right time. Uh, ball came to me, and I just finished it, and seen the red lights go off, and I was kind of just nothing but joy. And then after this uh, great run home for all of us, for uh, for the seniors, uh, the people who fought so hard for this place. Cam, given how you know, the season has gone for you, what have the, the past two games meant to you personally, and overall the, the stretch of the last five games or so? Uh, I mean, they've meant a lot. Uh, I mean, I came here to, to get to the tournament, and you know, I feel like the last like couple of games, that's the only thing that's been on my mind is just helping this team win, you know, so we can just keep moving on. Um, so, I mean, I've just been blessed to have opportunities to um, make this happen. Miles, uh, we asked you Monday what you would be feeling with what you felt this team. What did it all feel like, especially to have the kind of game that you did last week? Um, I said it was going to be emotional. I didn't expect it to be <laughs> that emotional. Um, like I didn't, it didn't really hit me until like right before they announced my name and the senior night thing. I was like, wow, it's crazy. Um, and after the game, oh man, like to, that's like a storybook ending. Like you can't picture it any other way. It feels like a movie. Can you do like one from the corner that got you born? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't the three know. or four. <laughs> but, but how is your mind feeling? So you, you've had a rough time. Your legs and quads. When you when you're a shooter and you get it going, it doesn't matter, right? How was your mind after making one? Did you get unconscious or? Um, no, I mean, you know, the guys behind me, they seen the work I put in. You know, like just repetition. You know, make or miss, I can't let it you know, affect my next shot. So, you know, no matter how many I missed in the past few games, like everybody here has faith in me to keep shooting. Pick, you guys have been in so many close games recently. Earlier in the Big Ten season, you guys struggled in those games. Lately, you've been pulling them out. How important was it for the last few games that you were able to do that leading up to this? And then where does this put you going into uh, the Big Ten tournament and beyond where you know you're going to be in tough games? Yeah, definitely. Um, it, the last couple of games were really, really good. I think the last like, five, you know, five good games. Uh, we felt like we were playing pretty good basketball. So, you know, coming around now, there's a little bit more game last year and where we're playing we've had title game on the road and at home so we feel like we play really nice so we we build a confidence for those for those type of games. All right, I'm talking to Andrew. When you made this shot that you thought it was a three but it turned out to be a two and they reviewed it, how did you guys react in the huddle and how did you guys just pull it out even after they scored? You guys uh, yeah. To be honest, I, I kind of knew it was a two with the way my footwork was. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I might mess up your question a little bit, but uh, I think that, like, and I kind of told Coach that just to kind of, uh, you know, let him know. I was like, I'm pretty sure they're going to rule us a two if that changes anything that we're going to do. Uh, but to be honest, it didn't because the way that we were playing at that point, like, we were all about stops. And either way, tie, tie ball game down one, uh, we had a lot of confidence in ourselves that we were going to get a stop and score on the other end. Um, so I think it ultimately boiled down to just have faith in the other guys that it doesn't really matter one or two uh, or two or three that uh, you know we're gonna do what we need to do to win the game. Jalen and Seth, in the last possession during the timeout, I guess it was 19 seconds. What did uh, Coach Shrewsbury want? Seth got shot from the foul pit at a flow, or was that intent? Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it was definitely a flow. Um, when uh, Jalen drove to the basket, and, you know, uh, I'm being a great player. He's gonna draw a lot of attention. I think two guys won, and um, he turned around, and made a great pass to me. And uh, I seen uh, Martinez, number 23, like he jumped on my right side as if I was about to pass the ball to Punk. So I, uh, I figured I'll just shoot the ball, you know, just shoot it with confidence. And, uh, you know, it came off, but it is what it is. I ran there to the offensive rebound, and I took the ball right to Cam Winter. So did you you tip it to Cam? Yeah. Cam, what, what were you thinking when the ball was in your hand? Were you worried about the clock or not? Uh, no, I would just, just go up. I'm under the basket. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else to do down there. Go up. Yeah. So, uh, I knew that there wasn't too much time on the clock. And I just kept going forward. Jalen, you, you, you guys knew what was riding on this game. What did you guys feel like wasn't working in the first half? How did you feel like that played into We had to switch up our offense and our defense a little bit to stay in front of them. But I think um, it started off, we were trying to do a little bit of post and we were doubling and they were kicking it out for threes. So 
I mean, it's can help. You can just press the key, send it home, and screw it away. So, Miles did a great job down there. Uh, Seth did a great job. So, you know, sometimes you gotta adjust our game plan. He said we need to have some more fun, put on more smiles, and we can attack in a different way. And the second half, we just played our hearts out. And uh, we got close enough to get a couple of good points. Jalen, talking about uh, making adjustments, the last couple buckets there were backdoor passes to the guys in the game. Is that something you guys had adjusted to there late in the game to try to get those passes when you were getting double teamed out more? Yeah, definitely. Um, we went smaller. Um, <laughs> we went smaller at the end of the game, trying to do some things. and. Kept doubling, so we did a great job of just seeing the cuts. Uh, Miles got a couple back doors, so uh, when teams are going to double and send two, we got to get a rim threat. Um, I think it just we just took advantage of those weaknesses. Seth, uh, it looked like when you got fouled on that three, you kind of were exasperated and finally uh, under the field to make those three free throws, given you know how crucial they were down the stretch and to rebound from what happened last time you, you played them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, getting on that three, it was just uh, I feel like I haven't been. All right, uh, you five was on the floor for the end of all five of you seniors that's for the end of the game. How did it how did it feel? Did you feel any pressure about it? Because it was like us five, we got to bring it home, or any of that? Any five, any way you guys can answer it? No, <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, realistically, like, how many, how many games have, has this five been in at the end of the game? You know, like, it's just going out there and having fun playing together, you know, like. We just kind of said at halftime, you know, like, go out and have fun. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. Like, play as hard as you can. You live with the result. And, you know, came out on top of it. For Miles and then Seth, the two guys who you've been here your entire careers, and to hear Micah, you know, recognize you after the game ended in front of the crowd, you know, what did that mean to you? And, you know, what, um, I guess, overall were, were the feelings to, to hear Micah, you know, talk about you guys like that? Um, it, feel, it feels good. Like, you know, coach has a belief in us. And, you know, you always want to play well. And not only your teammates, but you want to play well for your coaches, too. Um, you know, some people get blessed to go play college basketball for four years and they dream of it their whole lives. I was blessed to do it for five at the best university in the world. So I, I was just extremely emotional, extremely happy with this, guy, with this team, with these guys, and, you know, finish out strong. Andrew, there was a lot on this game. Yeah, I think uh, a little bit of that plays into it. And, you know, we, we just played Northwestern, too, where it was their senior day. Um, so we knew it was going to be emotional. And, you know, we're, we're guys that we need to not play off those emotions as much and, and kind of settle down. I think it got us a little tight. Definitely had me a little tight in the first half. Why? Uh, you know, it's just it's been a great season. And, and there's, a, there's a, like, a lot to be proud of, I think, is the bigger thing. Um, so it, it can kind of, you know, your last game, big game in terms of March and you know the rest of the implications. Um, so you know there's there's a lot going on, but uh, I think with the group of guys that we have, we're very mature enough to realize that even when we're down double digits at halftime, to kind of stay together, stay calm, and, and do what we need to do to win the game. When Coach Schubert, Schubert said have fun at halftime, what were you thinking? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it, you know, it's kind of um, you know it's easy to say like have fun, you know, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it goes a long way. You know, when we're playing loose like that and the crowd's getting into it. Uh, that's when we're at our best, and, and so I think that um, you know, kind of having that notion of you know, we're like Miles said, we're gonna go out, do our best, and uh, we'll live with the results. I think that really you know brings home. We're gonna have Seth answer the last part of Daniel's question, then then we'll talk to Scott again. Right. Yeah, uh, when Coach Cruz, you know, did, uh, gave everybody the recognition. Um, yeah, for me, like it was it was definitely a special moment. Um, you know, uh, playing for four years, I feel like I gave a lot of. You know, blessed by the tears of this this program, and um, I feel like for the for the true fans that really support me and this team, uh, you know, appreciate them. Uh, a lot of people uh, came out today to support us, and uh, you know, I just I just really want to you know thank the fans that that like really ride with us. Uh, you know, thank God that they uh, you know, they see us on that level. Thanks, guys. Thank you.